there, it's Dusty Thunder with a true off my chest spicy story. And with the uh, the newly minted disclaimer by Spicy, we don't mean risque. We mean um, dramatic. This one is titled, I organized a fake wedding and married my wife, and now my actual wife is threatening to expose me. <laughs> what? I'm using a throwaway account since I can't risk anyone I know catching on, but I have to talk about this with someone. Seven years ago, I met my now wife while completing my master's degree. She was a foreign student, and we were in the same flat for student accommodation, and we hit it off immediately. It wasn't long before we started dating, and then fast forward a year or two, and she decided to stay in the country, and we move in together. I love this woman, and things were going great, but she eventually started to bring up the topic of marriage. Her family is very traditional, and she insisted that if we were going to continue being together, then we would have to get married. I was strongly against this, but I seriously cannot say no to this woman, and I eventually agreed. Red flag, hold up. You were strongly opposed to marriage, but you have a hard time saying no to her, to her so you eventually agreed? That's enough of a red flag. But were there no warning signs at this point to you, OP? Now here's the kicker. I'm technically still married to my ex-wife. We did not end things on good terms, so I left without getting a divorce and changed my number and contact info. I don't think that's how that works. I did not want to have any contact with my ex-wife, and since my wife is foreign, she doesn't know the proper legal processes required to get married here. I told her that I would deal with the legal aspect while she organized the wedding. She did have some questions as to why she never had to sign anything or provide any form of ID, but I lied and said that it wasn't needed for where we live. We had a large wedding, and it would have been absolutely magical if it weren't for the fact that the whole time I was sweating bullets, wondering if anyone would find out it was all a ruse. The only people who had any idea it wasn't a proper wedding were the staff, where I said that we're already legally married and we're having a reception now that we had the money. We've been married for almost three years now, and she still has absolutely no idea. And it seemed like I had gotten away with the impossible. That was until last week when my actual wife reached out to me. Apparently, she found out through a mutual friend that I had remarried and got my contact info from them. She called me all sorts of names and said that she would make sure that my wife found out about my lies. I begged her not to and offered to get an actual divorce, but she told me that it was too late for that. I've been stressed out of my mind these past few days, and honestly, I don't know what to do. Telling my wife is absolutely off the table, as I know for a fact that she would leave me without hesitation. So yeah, that's my situation. There's an update. Before we get into that, isn't there like a certain amount of time that goes by if you have been separated that your marriage is just dissolved? If she had filed. If she had filed. Okay, if she had filed, but she didn't. So, so she wanted to stay married? She obviously had an issue with this. I thought where this was going was that immigration shows up because she's from a foreign country. And they're like, oh, no, you're not married. And then hauls her off. And then it becomes like a whole spiraling deal. And it still could go that direction. But what, 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 what? I think this is cowardly. If you want to marry somebody, you have to be at least you have to at least have enough courage to end the marriage that you were already in. And now, yes, this is going to cause all kinds of damage. So you put yourself in a situation where if you come clean about it, your, your new wife is going to leave you without hesitation. Why do you think that is? Because it's incredibly <laughs> up? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's dive into the update here. Update! The last couple of days have been a whirlwind, and I'm making this update to say that you are all right. My ex told my wife about the false marriage, and my life is completely collapsed. My now ex-wife completely blew a gasket and was furious with me. She accused me of keeping her as a mistress so I could have two wives, which I tried to tell her wasn't true, but she wasn't having it. She stormed out of the house and is staying with a friend, and the closest thing to contact I've had with her is through this friend. She told our friends, my family, and even my job about what happened, and they are all taking her side and have shut me out completely. I got fired, and my dad called me up last night and told me that I am not welcome back home and not to contact my parents or my family. I genuinely don't know what to do now, as I will not be able to pay my rent, especially without my wife helping out financially. Oh, well, you done screwed yourself here, didn't you? A lot of you mentioned the issue of immigration, which I thought would not be a problem as she had a work visa. As it turns out, she had a work visa, but it expired a long time ago. She thought that she would be fine since we were married, but after she learned it was a sham, she has been in a lot of hot water. Dude, 
Apparently, after she contacted the home office, they said that if she did not get voluntarily deported, she would be detained and will get a minimum of two or even five year ban from entering the country regardless. I'm not entirely sure of how her family took the news, but according to the friends she is staying with, they are not happy with her and might not take her back either. So yeah, a lot has happened. I feel like complete shit and know that this all could have been avoided and now I have completely blown up both of our lives. Holy f balls. I don't even know what to say. Except for this. Let's get the feedback of Candy Thunder up here. Uh, yeah, you said I'm, I'm speechless. Um, so this is what happens when you don't follow the rules. I'm not sure what country they're in, but geez Louise, dude. Like, what? was it all worth it? Like, all you had to do was file. You guys could have filed paperwork together. Is it? Does it seem to you like he, his, they got in a fight in his last marriage and he just up and left? What was the reasoning for the last marriage dissolving? Technically, still, we yeah. did not end on good terms, so I left without getting a divorce. Like, that's going to fix everything. <laughs> yeah. He put himself so, in his own, like, uh, witness protection. Right. And so he just changed his number, pretended like his past life didn't exist, found someone new, and at that point still didn't file for divorce. And then she's talking marriage, because of course she is. Um, and then at that point, he's like, no, I still don't need to get divorced. I think I'll just sweat bullets through my entire ceremony and hope that this doesn't come caving down onto me. Like, it's going to cave in on you. That's that's how it always happens. Like, you've seen the movies, right? Um, everything has to cave in before it can get rebuilt. That's how I, it's like a rom-com. <laughs> it's a rom-com. Except you just suck. <laughs> The consequences of your inaction are that you got somebody deported uh, and your ex-wife that you didn't want to find you found you. So this guy just like leaves a, tr he's like a slug. He just like leaves a trail wherever he goes of people that he's just treated like shit. And then he just changes his yeah. number and starts all over. This, this guy is like the, uh, <laughs> this guy is like the, the marriage equivalent of the Chase Bank check fraud thing. <laughs> that's going on. It's like, there is no consequences for this at all. Yeah. Uh, and then well, just does it. But, but good thing he feels like shit. So, you know, there's that. Like, I don't think you feel... He does feel bad. Yeah. I feel real bad. Yeah. I'm sorry that I did this and sc screwed over two people, but here I am. He's... Ready for my third. He's upset that he now he's not going to be able to pay his rent without the help of his wife. Like, you... This is... Dude, he's ask on one. He's done it twice. He has a streak at this point. He's just <laughs> f***ing up people's lives. And then he's like, well, I feel bad, but, you know, shit had to happen, so... At least it's not on me. He's not even a streak at this point. It's a it's a skid mark. 